Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy New Year. And for me, it's just a short message this morning because we're back in the building. The students are back and the kids are just back. <laughs> and we're just happy that they're back, they're healthy. Um, I only have one student who is absent today. So that I'm thankful for. Um, it's the same old, same old. But as educators, we're here to just guide them, love them, appreciate them, encourage them, find ways to motivate them, to help them believe in themselves, to help them believe that they're achievers and they just need to start believing in themselves and applying themselves more. We are here to guide them and to remind them that nothing comes easily. Everything is a is a is a is a lot of determination, a lot of resilience, a lot of hard work, and a lot of prayer. For those who know how to pray and have learned to pray, we cannot teach them that, but we can encourage and empower them. And we just hope that as we talk with them and as we model for them, that they will learn how to we received two new students today from jamaica and they are placed in my homeroom so i hope that i will be a great support for them understanding the culture understanding the language um which is part of the culture but um but just be here for them as they become you know as they start learning how to adapt to this public school system so i'm just touching bases if you haven't subscribed to the channel as yet my viewers and my viewers please think about subscribing and supporting me on the journey because if you have subscribed and i am praying and hoping for today that god will grant you an extra portion of blessing um that whatever your struggles are that as you talk with him and explain to him because he knows our hearts he knows our desires he knows what it is that we need to continue on our journeys and he will open the doors necessary to help us um, pull through so don't forget to talk with him talk to him and keep him close because believe me he's the one who can open up those doors for us and make the changes in our lives that he sees necessary. Remember that he gives us what he wants us to have and he puts us where he wants us to be. So a lot of times we are, we are wondering why me, how me, because you must have prayed at some point, you must have done some good deeds at some point and God decided to reward you as according, accordingly. Remember that he says that, right? So, I'm just touching in to let you know that I'm back in the building and that the children are here, they're healthy, to have been added to our num up to my homeroom numbers. And as I pray for you, just please please pray for me so I will be the best Beverly I can be um, as I go around. Um, the wig is out. Um, a couple kids thought it was funny. <laughs> But I'm I'm okay, you know, I'm okay. I I laughed with them and I and I and I say to them uh like just understand one boy he came all the way to my classroom just to see if I was really wearing a wig. And I say the wig doesn't change who Mrs. Salmon Black is. So it's okay. And um, and so remember to get up and move. I'm going to be walking now a couple of times to the cafeteria section and back. It's a long walk. Um, that's a good thing with working on this floor. It's a long, long, long corridor. It's one, two, three, four. It's five corridors that, that are, are connected. So it gives you a good amount of movement. So I'm going to be getting up now and walking around there and come back, then walk back again. 
um i just took the children to their specials and so i know sometimes it looks like oh you're on their time but even though i'm here i'm in my classroom i'm getting ready to grade some papers um, we started back reviewing the module we just completed um we were doing unit rates teaching them how to shop and look for the best bargain um and so i want to just get them refreshed I must also say that I did put on Amazon my little list, my wish list, and people have been really supportive. My the guy, the contractor who took the contract to do my roof, when I, I just sent the emails out to everybody and anybody, to, to my car dealership, my realtor, my realtor really, she went like crazy good. And she's the one who sent these. Um, she sent notebooks. She sent other things um, for my students, erasers. She picked out a lot of stuff from the from the um, from the list, and she bought them and sent them. My niece in 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 Maine, Doctor. Mm, my poor my niece. Awesome. She actually went in and she got us a lot of good stuff. She bought a hundred and something dollars worth of stuff for my students. Then I also have another donor, which is my daughter-in-law. I had the babies on the week, on Saturday, because today is Christopher's birthday. Happy birthday, son. Mommy loves you. Um, and so they wanted to hang out with his sisters on the weekend since today is a weekday and it's a work day and i watched the babies danny and i watched the grandchildren and they went out had dinner had a good time and came back and then they came picked up the kids spent another two three hours with us and then they left we had cake and all of the good stuff and left and then i got a text message and it was a message from her that she went and she bought me two reams, two boxes of paper. You know how much paper that is? 20 reams of copy paper. She bought, oh my God, she must have spent $200. I was just screaming with joy. And I, I she sent me, they have not been delivered as yet. But she sent me, you know, when you buy them, then they, they have the pictures that she sent to show me what was bought on the list. So much of the goodies, snacks for the kids, just, just, just awesome. Um, I even got the paper cutter, that guillotine, guillotine, to cut paper. So I'm not cutting it with the scissors anymore. So it 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 has been just a blessing, you know. I I have to be thankful. So they sent them, and so my students have so much you know, for the classroom. I also had needed a lot of notebooks. The director from my program, the math director, he is dropping off supplies for me um, because I did email him too. <laughs> and I just, it was such a good email so that um, a lot of people really jumped on board. My sister in New York, of course, she has to get in the mix. Um, I got a nice thing for my desk. It's over there. We're setting it up now. Um, but but just a lot of good things. Um, with people have, they, they really came through for me and, and got me a lot of good things that we need. Notebooks are a big thing because for this, the rest of the year, I want to teach the children how to, to put things in their notebooks. So when I give a handout, instead of just me grading it and keeping it, they, we can pay, I'm going to teach them how to paste it in the notebook under the heading for the day. So today's January 9th, and I do the heading, their names, the date, the subject, and the target. The target is what the lesson is going to be about. And so they'll have that on in their notebooks. And then the handout um, will have a problem on it that they, they work out to show that they understood the lesson we taught yesterday or sometime before, and we'll just paste it on that page in their notebooks. So their notebooks, we call it foldables. We'll have those folded pieces in there for their support. So um, it's a good thing, guys, and I'm motivated, and 
I am thankful for all of the support that I received and it will be used for good measures. I did post it, the link on in one of the videos, um, but I'm thankful that the emails brought forth a lot of good things. So wherever you are, guys, just reach out, open your mouths and speak, you know, speak to the people around you so that they can know what your needs are. A lot of people think because Miss Bev says, well, you said open and closed mouths doesn't get fed. So they come into me. But you have people around you that if you talk to them and explain your situation, that they will be there. You never know. If people don't know, they can't support you. But when they know, then they'll be able to meet you where you are. So people go out and do good, live good, feel good, keep up mo the movements, do what you have to do to support your health, to support your neighbors, to support the people around you so that you can feel like you belong. When you treat people well, they hopefully will treat you well in return. And so let us each one help Swan as we continue on our journeys. Have a great day, everybody.